What's up, fire babies? What's up, Leo gang? What's up, lines? What's going down in the life of a Leo between the 1st and the 15th of February? Y'all feel change? Change is good. Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time watching my channel, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out. I cuss. Okay, so if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube who can better assist you without the cuss, okay? Because me, <laughs> I'm going to do that. To my new subscribers, welcome to the family. Y'all, we are the dysfunctional. We don't fight and we don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, but here we do cuss, okay? <laughs> we love, we grow, we share, we enlighten, we evolve. Posse vibes only. Yes, I covered up my goodies, y'all. I was wearing a dress, and if I've been not really showing my face in the readings to not be a distraction, also is to protect my energy because it's been some crazy shit going on, and Mocha didn't want to get caught up in the waves. However, there's someone on YouTube taking my content without my authorization, so um, I'm going to have to actually go and um, go back and do some reporting and some flagging. If you want the tea on that, please go check out that community tab because I actually need my family, my gang gang to stand up for me because I be damned. I work my ass off, you know, and I'm not going out like that, alright? So, with that said, I had to bring y'all, y'all, Leo, Leo, look, Leo video. It was either that or be petty right now. I'm going to put my petty on the later list, but you better fucking know, because Leo, don't nobody know. Y'all know, okay? We make time for petty here at the Mocha Love Tarot Channel, because I, I love and I share all of me, and I'm, I'm, I'm literally over exerted you know into doing what it is that i do one because i'm living my life purpose and two because it's my passion and i love people i love you all unconditionally so i'll be damned you know I'm not gonna cry because y'all know i'm an aries and i got that libra rise and i'm passionate about this shit i'm saying okay so with that said to my returning family y'all go check that damn community tab out but hey boobs what the hell y'all been going through what the hell y'all been get? What the hell we been pushing through for that matter? Because Leo's that blood eclipse for you all and Taurus, really all of my fixed signs, but for you all because it happened around your around your sign, y'all just stand strong. And it's your actual, but your belief is the strength, is your strength in moving towards your perseverance. Again, your belief is your strength in moving towards and moving through your belief is your perseverance period okay so with that said without further ado this will be for my sun moon rising venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of leo this is not a personal reading it's general if you need a personal that information can be found within the description i currently have a, a valentine's day sale going on the theme is boot up or not <laughs> okay so <laughs> you want to know if you're gonna be booed up for valentine's day me up it's 25 dollars two questions 15 minutes but that information can be found on the community tab all right so you all um we're gonna kick off with your intuitive messages for the month of february um you know how i rock i meditate you know and the energy what i hear i'm clear audience so what i hear i actually uh record write it down what it is that i'm hearing and the energy that i feel with it shuffling okay so what i got for leo's was anxious between the lines communication purpose, letting go, fear of failure, assistance, passion, renewal, trust issues, perception, and great abundance, okay? So let's talk about it. <clears throat> your um, The overall energy around your reading for the first half of February was the ace of swords okay so there is truth and clarity judgments to be made um perception shifts all right and just really leo being real with yourself you know what you have to do even though you fear that change of moving forward you know in making the move that's going to better uh better assist you guys and really seeing the abundance that you've been trying to create you know but y'all everybody can't eat at the table you know, God put people in our life for a reason in the season, and it's for us to accept, you know, when it's time for that season to end. 
you know, and that has to do with jobs, that has to do with relationships, it has to do with uh, our financial endeavors, it has to do with our passion and the purpose, you know, movement, it, life is not created for you to stand still, you're not going to be the same person today who you was last week, it's impossible, and yes, I say last week because perception, perception shift, even throughout the week in conversations that we have with other people, spirit put people in our path. For, for those reasons, you get what I'm saying? For us to have those conversations, whether we admit it to that person or not, we do. We definitely take that in and really let it marinate. You know, so your messages that come from, well, your first uh, message is going to come from the Oracle, the Crystal Angels Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. And you guys got Opal. I'm trying to block the glare. <laughs> let, your, uh, let yourself sparkle and shine. You're guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. OK, so Leo's, I strongly feel um, I strongly feel that this is truly about purpose, purpose, fulfillment, your desires, your creativity, as well as your belief in what it is that you're trying to manifest. Because I also feel the fear of anxiety due to other people feeling, you know, other people's opinions and their projections on, well, what if this don't happen? Well, what if that don't go right? Well, shit, what if it do? What if you need to get the hell out of my business? Fuck. All right, so y'all got to really just be in alignment with your true self during this time. And don't let people and their opinions prevent you from being your greatest self. All right? What is your truth? Time to make some judgment calls, okay? So, Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Leos, my lines, for the first half of February 2019 in love? Messages do you have for my Leos? What can be expected love for the first half of February? Okay, so you guys are um some of you guys could be dealing with um commitment. Some of you guys who are in committed relationships, it seems this time during this time a lot of you guys are seeking that balance, okay? Especially if you have a family with someone. However, you feel that there are things that are not truly being said in school. Like someone in your energy, some of y'all could be finding out that, yeah. Some of you are in love with someone. And I feel that deep down, like below the surface, some of you are ultimately fear commitment, you know, or you feel that commitment could be, it's called, it's going to be some type of prevention um, to you actually fulfilling your dream during this time for some of you all. Some of you guys are dealing with the Taurus that you could have a family with. For some of you all, it's a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Strong emphasis on the Scorpio and the Pisces. But I definitely feel that some of you guys could be finding out that someone, that this person could have a family with someone and they could be talking about reconciling um, that you are not aware of. For some of you all, some of you all have been feeling like, you know, you really are tired of carrying all the weight in your relationship. Some of y'all who are dealing with fire signs, there will be truth and clarity coming forward during this time. And I feel like it's going to be regarding how, you know, pretty much you communicating with someone that I feel that you could do more. I feel that I'm tired of really carrying all of the, all of the burdens. And if I'm going to be, if I'm going to do damn bad, I'm going to do bad by my damn self. Okay. I strongly feel like for those of you who, um, some of y'all could also be telling someone who you with, look, I'm not going to be your damn girlfriend for 15 fucking years. Well, who got time for that? I'm going to be honest with you. A person got about two years of my time before. That, that, time and peace, you can't get back. So for me, it's expensive. You understand? Never forget that. Because Spirit had me share that because that's for somebody. Time and peace, you can't get that. You can't go buy that shit. It's not on the shelves. You know, and because of that, you have to really be real with yourself during this time. Some of y'all are dealing with the sign of Pisces. And some of you guys could also be dealing with the Sagittarius. Some of y'all are really feeling overburdened by the situation due to... Um, secrets, things being unsaid, you know, I feel like someone is truly living in the past, which is preventing the love, um, as well as commitment, this commitment from moving forward, um, I feel like for some of you all, you could have been dealing with a water sign who possibly is having a hard time with, um, getting over the past, okay, I definitely feel like some of y'all are going to be, um, for those of you who are waiting on communication, some of you all are going to be getting the truth during this time, possibly from a Libra, an Aries, a Capricorn, or a Cancer person, this could be um, truth coming to you or from you, for some of you all, it's having to do with um, commitment, you know, put, pre pretty much putting a damn option on the line, what is this, what are we going to do, how are we going to move forward, or this conversation could be coming to you, for those of you who are dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I feel like this person, 
during this time, some of you guys could have an argument with someone who you could have recently reconciled with, or this person could be coming in to express that they want to reconcile, but there needs to be truth and clarity had before the relationship can move forward, because I definitely feel like some of y'all are going to find out that someone told you the truth, but they tell you all of the truth. For some reason, I don't know why the fuck people think omission is still not a form of lying. If you didn't, just because you didn't tell me, motherfucker, and I found out if I asked you, I still need that clarity, and that, or if I, don't, if I can't get that, that's still lying. Okay, for some of you all, you're definitely dealing with the sign of Sagittarius. I feel that you've been kind of overburdening yourself uh, with the thoughts of reconciliation. Some of y'all intuitively feel, some of y'all have a, a telepathic connection with the fire sign, and for some of y'all, it's one with the water sign. For those of you who are dealing with the sign of Taurus, even though you love this person, some of you guys could be getting messages or could be hearing that this person is reconciling with someone from the past, as well as Scorpio and Pisces. Yeah, for some of you all, you're having a hard time moving forward and accepting offers in love due to that fear of being hurt again. You're living kind of in that fear. I do want to trust you with my heart, but at the same time, you've hurt me once. And I feel like someone is coming in to apologize to you during this time. And they want to start over. They want to express themselves. And for some of y'all, this could be somebody who gets drunk. Some of y'all receiving drunk texts from somebody, possibly a fire sign. Or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. But this person <laughs> is pouring their heart out in a drunk text or have done this. I feel like this, this, for some of y'all, this could have happened. This is going to be happening this first week of February. For some of you all, it's the second week going into the third week that I'm seeing here. But if you've been waiting to hear from somebody, you are going to hear from that person. I feel like this person is going to contact you when they out of their body. And I feel like this person could be drunk. They could be high. For some of you all, I hate to say it, but I see it. This person could also uh, pop some type of like antidepressants or some type of um, um, like tramadol or something like like so something like that. That's like painkillers. But somebody gonna text you, and I feel like some of y'all are looking at it like bullshit. But this person is truly pouring their heart out. They also have a fear of being rejected um, because of what they've done to you in the past. Because I feel like this person wants to make an offer. Even though this person once thought that they had a bunch of fucking options. Leo, some of y'all do have a bunch of options and you're kind of weary of what offer to take simply because you have a fear of being hurt. You don't want to be hurt, but you are going to receive an apology possibly from someone who actually could have cut you off and didn't give you any clarity. Yeah, after a third party situation. And it's going to be that push that you need, that optimism that you need in order to trust moving forward. For some of you all, you're really having to choose, um, having to do with your how you make your money with your job okay during this time some of y'all could kind of be on the fence about if you want to leave your job i feel that there is going to be a new opportunity coming the second week of february for my leos as far as finances but it does have to do with your passion and your purpose what are you passionate about you know what is what 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 truly matters to you for some of you all, you're intuitives, and I feel like there's this fear of judgment. There's this fear of opening that chapter of your life and really being public about it because you have kind of put yourself in a box based on traditional beliefs. And some of y'all are dealing with someone who's having issues financially, but spirit is really calling that person to actually move toward their life path and their purpose, and they would actually be able to see um, prosperity. You or your partner is not living in your true self. And it's time to really take acknowledgement of that and really move forward, you know, during this time without fear of judgment. People going to talk about you whether you broke or you balling. That's just people shit. It's what people fucking do. You have to accept that, you know. If you, if you can't be your own star player, baby, why would you expect for somebody else to believe in you? You got to believe in your shit as if, if you want to be a model, goddammit, you ain't just any model. Tyra Banks, I'm coming for you, bitch. Naomi Campbell, bitch, you better eat your heart out because you ain't never seen Miss Mo. What? <laughs> you a Leo. It's time to roar, lion. You the motherfucking king of the jungle. Act like it. For some of you all, you are going to get your wish when it comes to a family, to a secure, um, to a secure family foundation. I feel like some of you all have been manifesting this, especially if you're dealing with the sign of Capricorn towards Virgo. I definitely feel like some of you all really, really, really need to totally address issues from the past. For some of you all, it's an abandonment issue from the past that has possibly been um, following you from relationship to relationship since you were um, a young a, a young child. For some of y'all, for some of you all, I'm hearing the number 13. I'm also hearing the number 16. Some of you all are really needing to um, have a conversation with the father figure during this time because I strongly see that 
there's there's a there's a conversation that Leo has been resisting to have with the father figure. This could be the father of your children. This could also just be your father. But it's going to be it's going to offer you that clarity and give your heart that peace for you to move forward, you know, without feeling attached to other people's energy or attached to uh, kind of living in this victimized or for this or or this state of like not being able to fully release because the opportunity to forgive haven't presented itself due to resistance of a conversation from either you or another person. Okay. So let's get it. Let's clarify. Fear, why is the higher for here? Some of y'all are going to be reconciling with the Taurus. For some of you all, you're dealing with the water sign who you have children with, possibly, or some type of family dynamic with here with this Ten of Cups. I feel like your family life is secure. But for some of you all, you're really needing to make time to balance between your family as well as your work. And I feel like there are going to be conversations coming about it with someone kind of, will you feel as if you're kind of back in the corner or someone's giving you an ultimatum? Could you hit that? Could you put that off? Well, someone's giving you either an ultimatum or something of that nature. Um, sorry about that, y'all. I definitely feel like for some of you all, if you're dealing with the sign of Pisces, you could be finding out that this person is already committed to someone. They could be actually tied to a Sagittarius, uh, Leo, Aries. And some of you guys could actually be releasing yourself from that and actually accepting new love because whoever I'm talking to during this time, spirit is offering you new love. However, you're choosing to stay stuck with someone else who um, really spirit has been literally screaming at you to make a judgment about. Yeah. For some of you all, uh, if you're dealing with the uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you could be finding out, um, could be finding, well, could be getting clarity to a situation from this person. Yeah. And for some of you all, this person wants to start over. They want to renew. They want to renew uh, some type of family, some type of uh, cycle with the family situation. That's the Ace of Swords here. Yeah. Truth and clarity to assist you. Because for some of you all, this is someone telling you, hey, you know, especially if you've been feeling like you've been carrying all the way for the all of my single mothers or single fathers you feel like you've been carrying the way this looks like another parent coming in and trying to assist you spirit is actually opening that door of assistance for you you just need not to be too prideful i'm hearing during this time for some of you all some of y'all could actually be um receiving some type of some type of financial help from like the mother or the father of your children yeah and for some of you all, this person could have moved away or could have been being stubborn. This person could have also wanted to reconcile but didn't want to deal with the issues at hand that could have actually caused the separation in the first place, which could have been a third-party situation. Somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side. <laughs> they had fake-ass grass over there. <laughs> but this person now wants to come back and talk. You know, you're really needing this as a time to forgive release okay and renew or remove situations that's you know from your energy that really don't fucking serve you anymore why is this temperance card here with the king of wands i definitely feel like you guys have a very fiery strong passionate connection with yeah with um a sagittarius person some of y'all going to be walking away from a sagittarius person and accepting new love after getting this truth and clarity and for some of you all, you're renewing a, uh, renewing a situation with the Sagittarian who you could possibly have kids with. Why is the Nine of Cups here with the Ten of Pentacles? Yes. For some of you all, again, you manifested this person. You manifested this person's return. It's your thoughts. You know, your th thought, word, action. What you think and what you speak is extremely powerful, which is why when it comes to your business endeavors, your prosperity, your wealth, your health, your abundance, you speak life into those situations, okay? Which is... Which is now the energy that we're kind of in. It's about, yeah, free thinking, releasing burdens, moving forward. Releasing situations that no longer is going to um, assist you in accelerating from a growth level. But ultimately, I do see the end and outcome on both, <laughs> on both ends. It's the Queen of Pentacles. So you will be you know, secure, you will be stable. You will still be in this beautiful feminine energy of love and abundance. However, it's about your passions, your purpose here with this queen of um this queen of spades. Your passions, your purpose. For those of you who have been um working on for those of you who are business owners, business damn damn business looks damn good. 
with these two outcome energies, okay? So for those of you who've been worrying about money, it's the lack mindset that's kind of keeping you in that place. So just shift it. Speak speak life into your speak life into your bank account. Speak life into your own prosperity. Speak life into your own abundance. Speak life into those aspects of your life and then allow spirit to show you who they are. Worrying about it, that's not your part. Y'all, if you've been cross-watching, you know I'm getting everybody right. That's, that's not your part. Let God do God's job. The belief, the manifesting, which is the doing, the acceptance, the allowance, the understanding, the receiving of your abundance, the surrendering, the trusting, the blind faith. That's your part. But the worrying, the stress, the overthinking, the not sleeping, the stalking, that's that's not your that's not your point. That, write that point out. Just take that page and snatch that motherfucker out the fold. That's not your point. You got to know your point lines. All right? So this is what I have for you between the 1st and the 15th of February. I thank you all for supporting me, for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the shares, not the stolen damn content. Y'all, go check that community tab out. I'm bothered. I'm really bothered. All right? Thank you so much, y'all. For the love and acceptance. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you, y'all, for just being a part of my family. I'm truly humbled for the opportunity to share my light with you all. And I truly appreciate every last one of y'all, okay? I send you many, many, many blessings. Much love. Much peace. Much abundance. Namaste, y'all. Till mid-month.